lead ions. We take a small portion of a solution containing lead ions, about one to two cubic centimeters depth. Then you add few drops of sodium hydroxide to a solution containing lead ions. You see there is a white precipitate form. And then we add excess of sodium hydroxide to see the effect of excess sodium hydroxide on the white precipitate. We shake thoroughly. You can see the precipitate has dissolved in excess of sodium hydroxide to form a catalyst solution. Take a fresh sample of a solution containing lead ions. You want to use a different testing reagent which is aqueous ammonia to see the effect of aqueous ammonia on lead ions in solution. Then we add a few drops of aqueous ammonia. Few drops of aqueous sodium aqueous ammonia. There is a white precipitate form. Then excess aqueous ammonia to the white precipitate of lead. The precipitate is insoluble in excess. Now that we have two cations which gives the same observation both with both testing regions, that's aqueous sodium hydroxide and aqueous ammonia. Lead ions and aluminium ions are giving us similar results, meaning another test should be performed to distinguish lead ions from aluminium ions. You can use dilute hydrochloric acid. Let's see the effect of dilute HCl on lead ions. Then you add dilute HCl, the solution containing lead ion. It forms white precipitate. Let's see the effect of HCl on a solution containing aluminium ions. And we add dilute HCl to find out if we can observe the white precipitate again. There is no precipitation. That's how you can distinguish lead ions from aluminium ions. The next cat ion is ion 2. We want to observe the effect of ion 2. The effect of sodium hydroxide on ion 2. In solution. Add a few drops of aqueous sodium hydroxide. There is a green, green precipitate or a dirty green precipitate form. Excess aqueous sodium hydroxide or precipitate. Precipitate is insoluble in excess. And let's see the effect of aqueous ammonia on ion 2. We add few drops of aqueous ammonia. There is a green precipitate again. Then adding excess aqueous ammonia precipitate remains insoluble in excess.